Hi, my name is Chris Maglin. Welcome to this short video about prefabricated straw bale wall panels. Over the next four or five minutes, I'd like to give you an overview of how this system works. There are many advantages to building wall to walls of a house with plastered straw bales, which include better thermal performance for lower heating and cooling costs, lowered environmental impacts, lower toxicity, excellent properties for handling moisture, excellent fire retardancy, and remarkable sound dampening qualities. There are many resources available for learning more about straw bale building, and I would encourage you to check into them. We developed the prefab wall system because there are some disadvantages to building on site with straw bales, which include higher labor inputs, especially for plastering, and difficulties with working in cold or wet weather, and a lack of skilled bale builders to do the work. Prefabricated straw bale walls addresses all these concerns, and delivers a wall with all the advantages and none of the disadvantages of bale building at a cost that can easily be lower than, than conventional options. The project shown in this video was completed in 2010 as part of the Sir Sanford Fleming Sustainable Building Design and Construction Program in which the students built a LEED Platinum Certified Home for the Peterborough, Ontario chapter of Habitat for Humanity. I hope the following video shows you the steps required to build a prefabricated straw bale wall panel and if you have more interest go to the website at the end of the video to learn more. The first step in building a prefabricated wall panel is to build the frame in the shop. The frame consists of a top plate and a bottom plate which are insulated and will stay with the wall much the same as with a regular load bearing straw bale wall panel. A temporary sides and a temporary bottom are created for the convenience of building the wall in the shop. The completed frame will hold the plaster and the bales and is built lying down to eliminate the multiple coats of plaster needed when the wall is vertical. Here the bales are test fitted and sometimes trimmed to fit, although ideally the wall would be sized so that the bales can be used whole. The plaster is the key ingredient in a load bearing straw bale wall panel system. It's both the finished coat of the wall system and the structural strength of the wall system. For these prefabricated panels, we used a lime cement plaster, which consists of 50% hydrated lime with 50% Portland cement, mixed at a one to three ratio with sand, with water and polyfibers for added strength. That mixture is brought into the form and is placed in the lower side of the form on top of the plywood base, uh, which will become the exterior wall of the building. You'll see that inside the panel there is some mesh to uh, help the plaster to bond to the top and bottom plate and otherwise the plaster is just filled into the into the bottom to an inch thickness. Before being placed into the wet plaster the bales have a coat of plaster worked very vigorously into the surface of them. The bond between the plaster and the bale is the basis of the strength of the wall system so putting a dry bale into the wet plaster simply wouldn't give it the strength it needs. The buttered bales are then lowered in place with an attempt to make sure that any gaps between the bales are stuffed adequately. The bale should be fit tightly into the frame and should, you should ensure that you're making a good bond with the, with the plaster below. The small plaster coated baguettes that go in between the bales help uh, to prevent any thermal bridging in the joints between the bales. As the bale stack goes in, it's tightened each time and the last bale should be quite tight to, to fit in. Once all the bales are in, the bales are pressed down into the plaster uh, with a little bale dance, and then they're ready for a top coat to go on after some additional mesh and vapor barrier is applied around the edges. So the second coat of plaster will also be an inch thick, and it will be worked into the bales vigorously, and then screeded off and brought to a nice finish. Usually this top side will be the interior finish of the wall, so more care is given in troweling out that coat uh, to give the finish of the wall. The idea is that the panels can be brought to site and painted directly on this surface, so the finish here is quite important, although if you wanted to do a skim coat on site, you wouldn't need to. Here, the cured panels, they've now sat in the shop for a week. The cured panels are brought to the site with a boom truck, we would typically like to transport them in an upright position, but this truck couldn't do that. So here they're stood up and brought onto the site. 
This process is quite quick. Um, the whole process for this house took about uh, two, two and a half hours to place all the walls. As you can see, they go uh, directly on the foundation. There are a few different ways of fastening them to the foundation, um, but they're all quite straightforward and simple. In this system, we prefabricate the sections between door and window frames, and we'll actually build those door and window frames. We'll stick frame them in afterwards. Once these walls are in place, uh, the building is ready to accept a roof. Uh, the panels are load-bearing so that there's very little time required once the walls are installed to proceed with construction. With the walls placed and the form stripped, we're ready to build the framing in between. And in this case, the home was sided over the framing and the straw bale wall system, resulting in a quick, very energy efficient and lovely looking home in a suburb on the north end of Peterborough. If you'd like to learn more about prefabricated straw bale construction, you can check out the website at www.chrismagwood.ca.